today I used a lot of math to calculate every team's overall in EA College Football 25. I covered Power 5 schools last week in part one, and in part two, I'm bringing you all the remaining group of five schools. You don't have to watch part one first if you haven't had a chance to check that out already. Just to give a brief overview, it's a weighted formula I cooked up in Excel spreadsheets combining college football revamped, offense, defense, SP+, winning percentage, and strength of schedule data. I understand overall predictions can be subjective and heck, my formula and what I think is important to measure may not be exactly how someone else would do it. I can respect that. And especially for the group of five schools here, don't expect crazy high overalls. Let's keep it all in perspective. Kicking it off with the Mountain West, let's start at the bottom of the conference. The New Mexico Lobos come in at 62 overall with a 61 offense and 62 defense according to the math. Lobos actually had better offense than a few other schools in the Mountain West, but the SP Plus prediction is the worst in the Mountain West, which... SP Plus is an ESPN formula that takes multiple variables into consideration, like the recruiting portfolio, the recent health of the team, the transfer portal, among other things. Point being, New Mexico Lobos have the bleakest outlook in the Mountain West. Plus two overall to the Nevada Wolf Pack. They are a 64 overall, 64 offense, 64 defense. This school was a bottom 10 unit in both offense and defense. Hawaii Rainbow Warriors, I have them at 66 overall with a 66 offense and 66 defense moving up the list we got the air force falcons at 69 overall 68 offense 70 defense this one i feel like is a little bit low as the falcons are usually pretty good squads but it's hard to find star power on military schools Colorado state rams also 69 overall with a 70 offense 68 defense that's right, this formula is harsh with five straight teams clocking in at 60 overall. EA probably won't give these guys this low of an overall, but this is based on statistics and rankings against every other team in college football. So keep that in mind. San Diego State Aztecs, 70 overall, 71 offense, 68 defense. Moving up the Mountain West, we got the Utah State Aggies, 70 overall as well, 73 offense, 67 defense. San Jose State up one overall, 71 overall, 72 offense, and a 71 defense. Then we got the Wyoming Cowboys, 73 overall and 73 offense and defense. Therefore, that leaves us three teams at the top. UNLV, another 73 overall with 76 offense, 71 defense, and the final two teams being the Fresno State Bulldogs, 76 overall, 78 offense, 74 defense. And of course, got to have the Boise State Broncos at the top. The only team with a positive SP plus rating that's above one in the Mountain West. I give them an 80 overall, 82 offense, 78 defense. All right, let's switch it up real quick to the independent teams. Notre Dame Fighting Irish are at the top of my list and actually the highest overall out of all group of five schools or independent schools. We all know they play as tough as any other power five school out there. So 91 overall, 92 offense, 90 defense. Last two independent schools on this list, we got the UMass Minutemen. They are a 66 overall, 66 offense and 65 defense according to the math. UConn Huskies are the worst independent team of the three, 65 overall, 65 offense, 66 defense. Heading over to the American Temple Owls are at the bottom of the list, 65 overall, 66 offense, 65 defense. Tulsa Golden Hurricanes with a 68 overall, 69 offense, 67 defense. That ties them with the Navy Midshipmen, 68 overall, 65 offense, 70 defense. Another military school with solid defense. That's probably because of the tempo and pace that they play at. But nonetheless, they're bottom three in the American. Then we go to the Charlotte 49ers, 69 overall, 69 offense, 69 defense. Nice. Florida Atlantic Owls also clock in with 69 overalls across the board. Army Black Knights are ahead just by an overall, 70 overall, 69 offense, 72 defense. North Texas Mean Green, they are a top 21 offense, and so I give them a 71 overall with a 75 in offense, but a 68 in defense. East Carolina Pirates have a decent defense compared to their poor offensive production. Anyways, 71 overall, 70 offense, 72 defense. UAB Blazers, they are 72 overall on this list. 
with a 75 offense and 69 defense. The South Florida Bulls are right up there with the Blazers, 72 overall, 75 offense, 70 defense. Then we got the Rice Owls coming in at 73 overall, 73 offense, 72 defense. The thing here is the SP plus is a negative three, which means it's a slightly downward projection. UTSA Roadrunners, the second place team here in the American Going to give them a 79 overall, 81 offense, 76 defense. Last but not least, at the top of the American, the only team with a very solid SP plus at 6.4. They are an 81 overall, 84 offense, 77 defense. They were sixth in the nation in points per game. Memphis Tigers. Keeping up with the patriotic theme, we're over to the Conference USA. At the bottom, I got the FIU Panthers, 63 overall, 63 offense, 62 defense. And right there tied with them at 63 overall in the basement, we have the Kennesaw State Owls, new to FBS and new to the game, 63 overall, 61 offense, but a higher defense rating than the FIU Panthers at 64. UTEP Miners, 64 overall, 64 offense, 65 defense. Louisiana Tech Bulldogs, 65 overall, 66 offense, 64 defense. That leads us to the middle Tennessee Blue Raiders, a plus one overall to 66 with a 67 offense and 66 defense. Jumping up two overall in Conference USA, New Mexico State Aggies, 68 overall, 68 offense and 67 defense. Now part of the top four in the Conference USA predictions here, the Sam Houston State Bearcats coming in at 69 overall, 68 offense, 69 defense. Jacksonville State Gamecocks crack the top three. We're jumping up three overall for this one. 72 overall, 73 offense, 72 defense. They had a good season, winning their first bowl game in program history and should be continuing in that direction. Western Kentucky Hilltoppers are second in this division with a 72 overall and a 75 offense, 70 defense. There seems to be a trend here with the group of five conferences as Liberty is at the top, and they're the only team in this conference with a positive SP plus rating. They're gonna be an 80 overall, 83 offense, 77 defense, according to the math. Let's go hang out at the MAC next. We got the Kent State Golden Flashes coming up at the bottom with a 61 overall, 59 overall offense and 63 defense. Yep, that is the worst overall I have in this next EA College football video game. It's lower than Kennesaw State. It's lower than Akron. And speaking of the Zips, they're next up with a 63 overall, 60 offense, 65 defense. Then there's the Eastern Michigan Eagles on the gray turf, 63 overall, 62 offense, 65 defense. Buffalo Bulls, 64 overall, 63 offense, 65 defense. The Ohio Bobcats are 66 overall. We're jumping up two with a 64 offense, 68 defense. The MAC is full of 60 overall teams as this next one, Ball State Cardinals are up to a 67, 65 offense, 68 defense. Same thing said here for Central Michigan, the Chippewas are 67 overall, 66 offense, 67 defense. Bowling Green Falcons push it up a notch to 68 overall and 68 across the board. The upper third of this division, the Western Michigan Broncos come in at 69 overall, 70 offense, 68 defense. That leaves us with three teams left. Northern Illinois Huskies are next, 70 overall, getting to that 70 threshold. That's sweet. 68 offense, 71 defense. And then there were two, that's the Toledo Rockets and Miami Red Hawks. Toledo Rockets are second with a 71 overall, 71 offense, 71 defense. And last in the MAC at the top, the Red Hawks are plus three, 74 overall, 72 offense, 75 defense. Once again, the only team in this group of five conference with a positive SP plus, it's a 0 0.8. It's probably the conference in level of competition to be honest, but there are six teams in the MAC that are top 30 defenses. But that's not going to translate to a high defensive overall in EA College Football 25 because you're not going to give Bowling Green a 95 defense and have them at the Ohio State level. The last conference for today's video, rounding out every team in the FBS, we're headed to the Sun Belt. And at the bottom of the list is the Louisiana Monroe Warhawks. They are a 63 overall, 62 offense, 63 defense, according to the formula. 
it might just be the grind you need in dynasty mode because they're 126th in points per game and 126th in total defense how about it we're pushing it up plus six already the georgia state panthers are coming in at 69 overall 70 offense 67 defense make room for the southern miss golden eagles 69 overall 70 offense 67 defense from one eagle to another the georgia southern eagles get the slight edge 70 overall 71 offense 68 defense old dominion monarchs 70 overall 71 offense 70 defense Arkansas State Red Wolves, they are on the prowl, 72 overall, 74 offense, 69 defense. Marshall coming in, middle of the pack here in the Sun Belt. We're going to give them a 72 overall, 73 offense, 72 defense. Texas State Bobcats, 73 overall, 75 offense, 71 defense. They were 11th in the nation in points per game last year. Coastal Carolina in the teal field, clocking in on this list, 75 overall, 76 offense, 74 defense. Definitely a fun one and a battle of the beaches classic in my Salona Beach dynasty. Moving up to the South Alabama Jaguars, 76 overall, 77 offense, 75 defense. Then we got the Troy Trojans, also 76 overall, 76 offense, 75 defense. The Louisiana Raging Cajuns, 76 overall, 78 offense, 74 defense. Raging Cajuns have the second highest SP plus rating in the Sun Belt. We got Appalachian State. The Mountaineers are a 77 overall, 79 offense, 75 defense. A pretty solid squad. That's going to be second highest here in the Sun Belt. They have the highest SP plus rating at 2.8, so the outlook's pretty good there. Despite having the highest SP plus in the conference, I got to give the top spot to James. James Madison in the Dukes after last season. Let's give him a 79 overall, 80 offense, 78 defense. Well, there you have it. The best teams in the group of five come down to the Memphis Tigers, Liberty Flames, and Boise State Broncos. Bottom three schools are Kent State, Golden Flashes, New Mexico Lobos, and the Akron Zips. I hope you enjoyed my rating predictions for every team in EA College football. I am pumped for the new game. And if you are too, soak it up some more with King Sponge. I got plenty of more EA College football videos coming, NCAA gameplay in the meantime, and then of course, when the new game rolls around, all the freshest content here as well.